How did Earth get its name? Whether you call our planet the Earth, the world or a terrestrial body, all of these names have an origin story deep in history. The tradition of planet naming used by the Romans dates as far back as the Babylonians at least. Babylonia, was a complex state in parts of modern-day Iraq and Syria best remembered for its king, Hammurabi, who today is closely associated with a law code created under his reign. All of the planets, except for Earth, were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. The name Earth is an English, German name which simply means the ground. It comes from the Old English words, e orth, and, ertha, in German it is, erde. The name Earth is at least 1,000 years old. Its name, according to the official gazetteer of planetary discovery, comes from the Indo-European base, Yar, which produced the Germanic noun, er though, the modern German, erde. In Dutch, erde, in Danish and Swedish, jord. And in English, Earth. Like many names of solar system objects, Earth's original namer is long lost to history. But linguistics provide a few clues. Ertha is an approximate spelling for the ground, meaning the ground upon which we stand, in Anglo-Saxon, one of many ancestor languages to English. Anglo-Saxon is a modern term to refer to a cultural group who lived within modern-day England and Wales shortly after the Roman Empire collapsed, between the 5th century and the Norman conquest of 1066. Ertha, in Anglo-Saxon, means the ground on which you walk, the ground in which you sow your crops, said by archaeologist and historian Gillian Havel, who is known as the Muddy Archaeologist. Ertha, also links to a place in which life emerges and perhaps even to the ancestors who are buried in the ground. Other modern popular terms for Earth, come from Latin. Terra, means land, again, the land on which you are standing, farming, or otherwise interacting with. That's where we get the modern-day English words, terrestrial, subterranean, extraterrestrial, and so forth. Orbis, was used when authors wanted to talk about Earth as a globe. They knew it was a globe, the ancient Romans, who closely followed Greek science. The Greek Eratosthenes measured our planet's circumference in 240 BC. It was a globe of lands, the orbis meaning, orbis, is the root word of the modern-day, orbit. There was yet another term, mundus, which was meant to describe the whole of the universe. The world is everything that contains us, humans, but it was quite obviously separate from the planets, mundus, is reflected in the modern-day French term monde or world, in Italian mondo, in Spanish mundo, and in Portuguese mundo, among other, Romance language, ancestors of Latin. The Roman author Pliny the Elder, Gaius Plinius Secundus, who wrote a large set of volumes on natural history in the first century, used mundus quite a bit in his observations. It is also from Pliny that we get a lot of the terminology used to name planets through the International Astronomical Union, although each culture has its own traditions and monikers. The Romans gave these planets names based on how they appeared to the naked eye in the sky, centuries before telescopes were available. But these names aren't always universal, either. The facts about Earth Translations of the Bible into English was one of the earliest recorded use of the name Earth, in, Genesis chapter 1 verse 10, God called the dry land Earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Earth is the only planet in the solar system with plate tectonics. The outer crust of the Earth is broken up into regions known as tectonic plates. These are floating on top of the magma interior of the Earth and can move against one another. When two plates collide, one plate can go underneath another. Earth doesn't take 24 hours to rotate on its axis. It takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds to completely rotate around its axis. If you add up that little motion from the sun that we see because the Earth is orbiting around it, as well as the rotation on its axis, you get a total of 24 hours. Everyone knows that the Earth has one moon. But did you know there are two additional asteroids locked into a co-orbital orbits with Earth? They're called 3753 Kruthni and 2002 AA29. The first doesn't actually orbit the Earth, but has a synchronized orbit with our planet, that makes it look like it's following the Earth in orbit, but it's actually following its own, distinct path around the Sun The 2002 AA29 travels in a horseshoe orbit around the Earth that brings it close to the planet every 95 years. Earth is gradually slowing down. Every few years, an extra second is added to make up for lost time. In other words, millions of years ago, a day on Earth would have been only 20 hours long. It is believed that, in another million years' time, a day on Earth will be 27 hours long. Keep it up, watching my videos.
To stay updated with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button. Thank you.